This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, hello, there, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter. I love you to another sports catastrophe on this day. And on this day, May the 18th, 1994, a massive upset in Champions League soccer happened. Now, a lot of people are being like, why are you talking about this tournament? And why not? And why not? Because, I mean, the fact about it is that who cares about this soccer tournament? Well, a lot of Europeans probably are watching my show and saying, yeah, he doesn't do soccer justice. Well, and also the fact that with this being an odd-numbered year, a lot of soccer events will be put on the back burner for on this day because, you know, there's not many major tournaments happening in odd-numbered years, except for the Gold Cup and Copa America. But anyway, the Champions League... Final 94 was huge. However, Europe had a club championship since 1956 called the European Cup. But once, like, big-name clubs wanted to do something, and there were threats of breaking off and doing their own thing, UEFA decided to change things up and make it like a Champions League and make more, more countries with champions come in. Basically, once Europe was cut down... Once the Soviet Union, Czechoslovakia, and later Yugoslavia were broken up, basically there were more champions. So the, so that's happened. The first official Champions League final in 1993 saw, prepare, saw Olympique Marseille from France shock AC Milan 1-0 to win the 93 title. Unfortunately, that title was tainted after it was revealed that Members from the authorities of Olympic Versailles were basically bribing another French side to lose on purpose so that Paris Saint that Olympic Marseille basically would have an easier path and would rest up knowing that the rest up for the Champions League final. But basically they got caught and were banned from the Champions League in ninety four. They were allowed to keep their spot, but anyway. So anyway, two legendary Champions League um, teams, Milan and AC Milan and Barcelona, were the finalists. AC Milan had won four titles, 63, 69, 89, and 90, and were the losers in the 93 final. Barcelona only made it to three finals, 61, 86, and they would be the last European Cup champion in 92 before it turned into Champions League. So AC Milan's spot is that they had to go through a couple of aggregates to get to the group stage. They took care of the Swiss team, FC Arau, only winning 1-0, and then crushing Copenhagen of Denmark in a fine powder 7-0 on aggregate. In the, in the group stages, they would be in a group with Porto, Werder Bremen, and Anderlecht from Portugal, Germany, and Belgium, respectively. Milan would come out on top by a point in the group and would face Monaco in the semifinals, which they handled easily, 3 0. Barcelona had a tough time with Diego Kiev. Kiev almost upset Barcelona in the first round. And people were like, wow, that is amazing. Thankfully, they beat Kiev in the second leg on home turf. And they would take down Austria, we end the Austrian champs. Paired, paired up in, in a group with Monaco, Spartak Russia, uh, Moscow, sorry, and Galatasaray. Barcelona was basically almost perfect. They would take care of Porto in the semifinals. So basically, Milan, Porto, Barcelona, and Monaco were in the final group. I think that... I think there was only like two groups, weren't there? Oh yeah, there were there were only eight teams in group stages. Well, that ah, that makes a whole lot of sense. So the line would take on Barcelona in the final. AC Milan at the Olympic Stadium in Athens had some very key names. Their captain was Mauro Tosati. They would have Christian Panucci. Paolo Maldini, Roberto Donadelli, Marcel Desai, 
Solomon Boban from Croatia, Dejan Savirjic from Yugoslavia, and Daniel Masaro of Italy up front. Marco Simeone was one of the substitutes on the bench, and the manager was Fabio Capello. English fans would be happy to hear this name Capello because, no, sorry, wouldn't be really be happy because Fabio Capello tried to have England do well in the 2010 World Cup, or was it 2006? I can't remember. I think it was 2010. I'm Barcelona was stacked. They had Subi Sarata and Net, Pep Guardiola, perhaps you heard of him, Ronald Koeman, Jose Mari, the captain, Sergi, the, the Bulgarian midfielder Stuchkov, Romario from Brazil, and a few others. Eusebio, not that Eusebio, but another guy. Sir Goiku Kostira and Juan Carlos. The manager was Johan Cruyff, who used to be a very good player internationally for the Dutch. So it was huge and all that. Barcelona won La Liga for the fourth year in a row and were looking for their second European Cup slash Champions League in three years. Milan had issues. Marco van Basten was injured and so was a sensation. I used to say sensation by the name of Luigi Lentil Lentili. Franco Baresi, who was basically the star of AC Milan and captain, was suspended and defender Costa Curta was too. And UEFA regulations limited teams to fielding a maximum of three non-nationals. Meant that Capello actually had to leave out JP Papin, Jean Pierre Papin, who ironically went in the 93 finals for Olympic Marseille. And also Brian Laudrup, a Danish legend. Barcelona couldn't take Michael Laudrup in the squad and all that. And ironically, Michael was Brian's brother. Michael would lay for Real Madrid at the end of the season. Milan decided to wear their all-white away strip, and Barcelona went red and blue and all that. Milan dominated early, and a, and a goal was scored by Daniel Masato, who tapped the ball past Supi Soretta. Masaro would score again before halftime. And Savilevich capitalized on a defensive error to lob the goalie, to lob the, puck, the ball over Supi Soretta's head to make it 3-0. Marcel Desai made it 4-0. And he became the first player to win the trophy in consecutive years for different clubs, winning with Marseille. I forgot Desai was on that squad too. So yeah, it was amazing and all that. So, yeah, this was a major upset because Barcelona, you know, was known as the power strike, the power guys and all that. They had Kuhlman, Subi Samara, Guardiola, Stoichkov, and Romario on their squad. So, yeah, and AC Milan had their problems. Two star players hurt, two star players suspended. They were expected to get rolled over, but they didn't, and Barcelona Rude the day they had to deal with AC Milan. So, yes, AC Milan won. Although they should have won in 2005 against Liverpool, but that's just saying a lot. Anyway, I've dropped Diamond Nigel.